Hey guys, guess where I'm at? I'm on the roof of my bus! My name is Luke, and I am a digital nomad. And I live and work out of this 2003 Ford E450 7.3 liter power stroke diesel school bus. I felt like I wasn't quite living life to its fullest. So I quit my job in Michigan, bought this school bus, sold pretty much all my belongings, and hit the road. And if you're wondering why my bus is black, this is why. I didn't want to draw too much attention to myself, so I just threw some black paint on there, called it good. I acquired a degree in web design, and I have a multitude of other digital related skills that allow me to make a living on the road. This old bus has everything that I need, including a propane tank mounted underneath for the stove or the oven for when I'm baking cookies. This beast has 800 watts of power on the road. And as a digital nomad, I need to recharge devices, I need to power things inside my bus, such as my refrigerator, I have a blender that I use to make smoothies with, I have water pumps, I have lights, I have to recharge my laptop, my phone, camera batteries, power tool batteries, I have a fan that I run sometimes if it gets hot, and you can't forget about my guitar amplifier that I plug my guitar into so I can shred some riffs. The only thing I don't have in here is a shower. I mean, I have a fully functional toilet that runs into a black water tank. I have a functional sink that drains into a gray water tank. And I have a 40 gallon fresh water tank underneath my bed that provides me with fresh water for drinking and washing the dishes. Now a question that I get asked from time to time is how do I get internet? Well, that is from this little number. It's a Verizon MiFi hotspot device that provides me with unlimited data. I can upload and download as much as I want without the data cap. This lifestyle offers me the freedom to do as I please, within the restrictions of the law, of course. I mean, I could essentially rob a bank, use my bus as a getaway vehicle, but I would prefer not to be plastered all over the news, OJ Simpson style. I'm a guy with a pretty good moral compass, so I tend to stay out of trouble. As far as you know, I Living life on the road has proven to be wonderful in a sense that I get front row seats to breathtaking views. I get the ability to explore, and I'm given the opportunity to partake in random life experiences that aren't as confined as, let's say, if I were living stationary in a small town working a standard 9 to 5. And I'm able to save more money as opposed to living in a house or an apartment since I don't have to worry about rent or utilities. And as many of you know, I mean, it can get pricey depending on where you live. And with more financial freedom, I'm able to uh, divert more time to hobbies. It's a little windy out here. Well, and I can focus more on personal growth and creating the best version of myself. Let's refer to it as leveling up. Luckily, the world is shifting to a digitalized age, which allows me to live this gypsy type of lifestyle, which others refer to as van life, bus life, nomadic life. It's a nomadic movement. With the advancement of technology and through the progression of time, I believe this lifestyle will become more widely confronted as the norm. Right now, it isn't quite user-friendly, meaning that society hasn't validated it as being a way of life that conforms to the natural way of living in our current societal structure. Well, that's a short introduction to me and my digital nomadic lifestyle. I'm in the infancy stages of the video documentary process, so feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube or follow me on Instagram. If you'd like to show more support, you can become a Patreon. Be sure to check out the links in the description. Until then, peace out.